I think one of the biggest challenges policymakers are facing is to prove that they can um, reform their systems in order to improve learning outcomes. So it's a little bit difficult, I think, um, one of the things that I spoke about today is that with because we're so accountable to these huge measurement systems um, and accountability frameworks, it's a little bit difficult then to in, think about innovating. The challenge, I think, then happens for there to be enough freedom for innovation to occur within those constraints. I was very inspired by the school we heard today that said, don't get rid of these kinds of measures because there is there is a possibility to innovate and learn within these constraints. And I think it's almost finding the balance on the ground so that we can prove to the policymakers that this kind of work can occur. One of the things I think that's quite interesting is everybody's been talking about 21st century skills and competencies for years now. And um, one of the things that the PISA test is going to measure in 2015 is collaborative problem solving. So it's not just going to be um, an assessment of students' abilities at the age of 15, as it usually is. It's going to look at how students really can work together to solve a problem. So I think there's, I see more and more tablets and slate computers going into schools. And that's quite interesting. But I'm also very interested to hear about the school we heard from today that uses iPods or um, schools that are making use of the technology every kid has in their pocket, their phone. So it's making use of the technology that kids have available um, and that they can also use at home. Think of things like um, Twitter or Facebook, that kind of thing. I was working with teachers years ago who were using Twitter not only in their classes, so the students would be using Twitter during the class as part of the classroom activities, but teachers who felt like Twitter was their best source of professional development. And there's all sorts of timed education chats where um, tweet chats where people can log on and see what other people are saying. And, and really people, teachers, are, are developing these professional learning networks through the context that they they make on Twitter. So it's it's not only using technology to give students access to content and expertise and people that they might normally not come in contact with, but it's the same with teachers, whether they access um, these new contexts through Twitter or through online communities or other social networks. I think that kind of a social trend is really finding its way into the classroom now.